Meanwhile, Zimbabwe is planning to sell hunting rights for endangered elephants in their forest. The move is aimed at shoring up the tourism industry, which has been hit by COVID-19 pandemic. The plan is to sell rights to shoot as many as 500 elephants. Zimbabwe has a budget of $25 million for the upkeep of its wildlife parks. Most of this money is raised through sports hunting, but with the pandemic-related travel restrictions, that source has disappeared. The announcement has unsettled animal rights activists around the world. Just a few weeks back, uh, the African forest elephant was declared critically endangered, and the African savanna elephant was deemed endangered too. Zimbabwe has an estimated elephant population of 100,000. Advocacy groups have called the decision appalling. The policy being pursued by Zimbabwe is called trophy hunting. Hunting rights are limited to a specific number of animals. In this case, there are 500 elephants. The money from this hunting spree is used to fund the conservation efforts. But there is no universal consensus on trophy hunting. Activists say the practice is motivated by greed and the money is never accounted for. They are calling for more traditional measures like photo safaris and general tourism. Zimbabwe is not the only country that has adopted trophy hunting. In December 2020, Namibia put 170 high-value elephants up for sale. They defended their move, citing an explosion in elephant population.